So somebody gave me a leopard gecko. Yeah, out of random, I don't know, like this guy met up with my mom and he was like, I know your son keeps leopard geckos, so would you be interested in one? And my mom was like, yeah, sure. So my mom came home and asked me if I want one and I'm like, um, sure. Because this leopard gecko over here, let me show you. This guy over here, this, I think it's a normal leopard gecko. I'm not quite sure. I'm not very good with morphs, but this leopard gecko over here, whoa, calm down. This leopard gecko over here is nine years old. Yep, I thought Zeus was my oldest leopard gecko, but Zeus is seven years old and this one is nine. So this old man gave my mom this leopard gecko to pass to me because his son used to have this as a pet and then he went to work and abandoned the lizard with his father and then his father was feeding and taking care of it for years and years until he got kind of fed up. So when he met up with my mom, he knew that I keep all these guys. So he asked my mom if I would like one. So she asked me and I'm like, sure. So the other day she brought this guy. She brought him in this. I mean, this is his enclosure. It's not the best looking enclosure. It's pretty small. But I mean, it's been in here for nine years. So I guess the size didn't really affect him. I don't know. I mean, he looks pretty okay despite this. Okay, let me show you guys. If you look closely at his feet, you can see stuck shed. He has not been able to shed very well. You can still see some leftover skin from the previous shed. I'm not even sure how many shed cycles does this include. It could be even more than the previous one. So yeah, what I'm going to be doing is putting him into water. I'm going to soak him into some shallow water so it'll loosen those dried up skin. And then I will slowly peel those skin off with my hands, my fingers. But yeah, I'll put him in here for now while I mess with this enclosure because, you know, this is not the best setup for a leopard gecko he's been living on gravel like like these are aquarium stones he's been living on these for nine years wow so basically the enclosure is just gravel has a uh, calcium dish a water dish which isn't the best looking I mean you could have done better man and then there's a little wood as well as a mealworm dish I put the mealworm dish in when it came to me there was like no mealworm dish it was just these as well as this uh, cave thing motel yeah motel so yeah I'm gonna be cleaning this out and you just using paper towels or just regular paper because those are I feel it's the best for these guys because you know you don't want to give them a uh, loose substrate you know because these guys are very very prone to impact Action, especially on loose substrate it's not the best I don't even know if he's impacted to be honest because maybe he threw in cricket I don't know he never told me what he fed them I mean fed it because there wasn't a mealworm dish and maybe he tossed in crickets and crickets were running around and when the gecko grabs he may have grabbed a stone or two and seriously I have no idea I don't know the background of this leopard gecko so I don't know its health condition I just got it like like that it's like here half my leopard gecko so yeah that's that's what pretty much happened so I'm gonna have to get rid of all these stones that's the first thing I'm gonna do after I take all these things out and look at that it's, the tank is not even clean it's like poop all over the place oh yep so what I'm gonna be doing is getting these stones and I mean I don't even need these stones so it'll just go into the garden in. Look at that, all the calcium powder, it's just, wow. They didn't even clean this enclosure. Oh, this enclosure is pretty heavy, quite a solid aquarium. Now I'm gonna have to give this a wash because check out all the calcium dust. Man, when was the last they cleaned this thing? Because all the calcium are all like pretty solid. It's like stuck onto the glass. Just gonna give it a quick rinse, quick dry, set it up and putting that guy back in. So yeah, first things first, let's get the hose. All right, so gotta oof, slant it like this. So, oh my gosh, there we go. Oh, check that out. And I'm just going to be giving it a quick scrub, I mean a, a rub, it's not a scrub because I don't have a sponge with me right now but I mean this works so right and then now we just dump everything out looks good I will be getting this guy a new enclosure a larger enclosure very very soon but for now I will just put him back in here just with better substrate I will do a video when I get a bigger enclosure for this guy but for now he will do fine in here I mean he's been in here for nine years it's just that I don't like the loose substrate so we're gonna get rid of those I mean I already did so yeah next step is to dry this thing up this enclosure and then we will oh what's this I have OCD and I do not like stickers on my tanks. 
Yep, I'll get rid of this later. It's so old till it's not even coming out in one piece. It's like cracking. Wow, okay. Yep, I'll deal with that later. Dude, how are you doing, man? I don't even know if this is a guy or a girl. Let's see if you're a male or a female. Whoa, 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 calm down, man, calm down. Oh, yeah, looks like a male to me because you can see the bulge under his... Yep, looks like a male to me. I mean, not confirmed, but from one glance, I think it's a male. So definitely not going to be able to mix with Zeus. Yeah, Zeus is the alpha male. Even if you put in a female, sometimes he fights with the female. Yeah, Zeus is insane. Zeus was born in 2012, so he has been with me for a good, I don't know, six years. Six, seven years. So yeah, that guy is awesome. Just the attitude. Until today, he is not the best when it comes to handling. Even when I handle him, he just runs off. So yeah, I have Hera as well. Hera is awesome. She's super chill. She's like the total opposite of Zeus. So yeah, ooh, you're licking around, huh? You're licking around. So yeah, that's our new addition. Now let's go mess with this thing. Yo, that's my leopard gecko. Get away from here. Yeah, exactly. Get lost, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, you almost got eaten. Nah, just kidding. That bird can't do anything. Just being annoying. So... Yeah, let me just put this stuff with you for a while because I want to bring it over there, okay? So, relax. Relax, bro. Oh yeah, the water. Sorry, just taking a little bit more space. And then the dish, calcium dish. Yep, this one definitely is gonna be needing some scrubbing and disinfecting because it's not the best looking hide out there. Look at the poop. Yup, let's go. All right, there we go. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Okay, there you go. Stay there. So this guy came in this enclosure with the rack. Yes, there's another one down there. No, there's no leopard gecko in here. This one actually escaped. Yeah, not from me. I mean, when they had it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going, bro? Where are you going? You gotta chill, man. You gotta chill. Yeah, I know his, his tail isn't the fattest. So we're gonna have to fatten that tail up a little bit more. So yeah, as I was saying, this leopard gecko, before they passed it over, to me, uh, kind of escape. I don't know when, maybe a couple of years back, no clue. Man, this guy is restless. He wants to explore. No, 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 no. Stay in. Yo, stay in, man. It's not time to explore now. You nine year old, old little leopard gecko. <laughs> old man. Okay, so it is pretty much dried up inside at least. Now we're gonna have to, I'm gonna be using just regular old. A4 paper because this is like the best. It doesn't cause impaction whatsoever. So here's one. I'm going to be using uh, how many? Four to cover up all the floor space. All right, there we go. A much better, I mean, not better looking enclosure because this is definitely much better looking, but this is definitely a safer enclosure for this guy because, yeah, come on. You want to go? Fine, I'll pick you up. There we go. All right, next up will be the mealworm dish, which I will be putting over here so you can eat whenever you want. Uh, your hide, I'm gonna have to clean it first. So you're gonna have to wait, okay? You're gonna have to wait. Look at that smile. As for the wood, I don't think I'll be putting it back in. Calcium dish, uh, it's gonna need new calcium, but it'll do for now. Just put it over here. I'll replace the calcium later. Water dish, mmm gonna need a new one. I think this water dish will be better. Come here. Yep, definitely a better water dish, but it's gonna need some cleaning, some just some rinsing off. All right, man, 2002. Dang, Exoterra. This is an old water dish. Okay, we'll put it over here like that. Sorry, phone not focused. And then we're gonna need some water and just pour it in here like that. All right, so enjoy your water dish. I mean, your food, your water, everything. Just enjoy, look at this guy. He's just standing all majestically and stuff. I will put your height later after I give it a nice scrub. So yeah, you just chill on the safer enclosure floor and we'll all be good. We're all happy. I mean, of course, till I get you your big enclosure. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Just to show you guys that I got a new leopard gecko from some random dude, which I don't even know who. That has been keeping it for a good nine years. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. I will do updates on this guy in the near future. Just to show you guys this new guy. Check out his eyes. Pretty dang cool. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, you still know what to do if you're new to this channel subscribe and hit notification bells so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video take care and you know peace